So, you want to learn how to memorize your chess coordinates. Well, you're in luck because this is a tutorial. If you just want to memorize them to get a better understanding of the chessboard and chess, that's cool. Or if you want to learn how to play like the pros blindfolded, this is a skill that's going to come quite in handy. Before we get into the video, I just want to mention that we do have the time codes down at the bottom. So, if you want to skip the intro or a certain section, you can just go right to it, look for the part that interests you, and just jump straight to that part. Anyways, so let's begin. Welcome to another tutorial where we'll be diving in into the vision tool here on chess.com, which is a tool that is here to help you memorize your chess coordinates. As you can see right here, we have our dashboard, which will most likely be similar to mine if you do have an account with chess.com. The first part, how do we find the vision tool? It is not a tool that is very uh, common or very well known within chess.com because it's not one that a lot of people might look into. Uh, just because, you know, they might not want to play or, or, or learn, they just, they just want to jump right into games. So, how to find it? Well, you're going to go to the Learn tab here on the left side, as you can see. And from there, you're going to have all these tabs that are open, and Vision is right there. So, just again, you have your dashboard, you're going to go over to the Learn tool, and then over to Vision. Then you're going to click Vision. From there, it is going to open up your Vision tool sort of dashboard per se, where you're going to have a chessboard with the coordinates, as you can see, 1 through 8 and A to H. From there, you're going to have like a little section with sort of your statistics and the the for you to pick what sort of training mode and what color you want to play as. So the vision tool has three different training modes. It's got coordinates, it's got moves, and coordinates and moves. Essentially, what these mean uh, are slightly different and each sort of range in its own difficulty as they progress. So coordinates, essentially, one, you click play, the board right on the center is going to flash uh, a set of coordinates for yourself. So let's say it'll flash H5, right? So we'll just say H5 and you have to go right to it and click it. And it'll do that every single time. So after you click it, it'll just flash you another set of coordinates and then so on and so on. Each training mode is 30 seconds. So you have 30 seconds to complete as many of these as you can. So 30 seconds to complete as many coordinates correctly. The second one is moves. The second training one training mode is move. So in this case, you're actually going to be given a certain piece and it's going to tell you to move it to a, a certain coordinate. So let's say that you have a rook on a1 and it says rook to 8h, so it's, uh, to a8. So I'll just say r a8 and then you're just going to move it straight to a8. Uh, and again, you got 30 seconds for that to complete as many correct moves as you can and then it'll show your personal best and you'll have like a little history. We'll dive deep into them in a bit. Then coordinate moves, this one is probably the harder one out of the three. As I said, they sort of get progressively harder each time. Coordinate moves is a combination of the two at random. So sometimes they might just flash a coordinate to go click. And sometimes they'll give you a piece and they'll flash the uh, coordinate that they want you to move that piece to or for you to make that certain move. So they each get progressively harder as you go on. But as well, you actually get to choose the type of color or like a setting of color that you want to play as and get the perspective of. So you can play simply as white, you can play simply as black, or you can have a variation of the both. Meaning if you play as white, you'll get to see the screen as is right now and make your moves as is. But remember, when you play as black, the board is flipped. So your coordinates are completely the opposite when you're moving. So it's a good idea to also play as black and memorize the chessboard backwards. And then the other option that they offer is white or black, meaning let's say you are playing moves as white or black. And then in that case, you are going to have uh, the board flipping on you every time you want to make a move. And then the last option that they have is to show the coordinates. As you can see currently here on the chessboard, we got numbers 1 through 8, and we got letters A through H as this usual coordinates. But the moment we take coordinates off, you will see that these coordinates disappear. Again, I'll turn them on and I can turn them back off again. And when you start your game on whatever training mode that you want, the coordinates will either be there or not. So not to, having the coordinates there is probably for those that are a little more advanced and have already uh, a, a knowledge of the chessboard in general and are usually using that to just tweak your, your, your vision ability or your, your ability to memorize. So why don't we dive deep into each one for you all to see what it is like. So let's jump right into the training mode and coordinates and I'll actually play as black on the coordinates. I'll do moves as uh, black or white and then just coordinates and moves. I'll play simply as white because that one is a little harder, but it's just so that you guys get an idea and you can jump right into it 
and try it for yourselves and start memorizing the chessboard. So let's begin. Coordinates as black, as you can see, my current personal best is 11. So you, I'm gonna keep the, uh, the coordinates on so we can all see it, and then I'm gonna click start. See, it's gonna give me this, and then it says go E7, and then I'll just click E7, and then the next one, F4. F4, F2, B5, B5, G4, a5, h8, oh, that's down here, g8, f2, e8, d6, b2, that's up here, d4, h4, ooh, and there it is, 13, I think we beat our, new, our record, I think my record was previously 11, so I'm very, very proud of that. So yeah, so that's what I list, you got 30 seconds on the clock, you'll get a go from the, from the, start and it'll just keep flashing coordinates at you so it's pretty simple and this is a good way to sort of start um just get an idea of where all the coordinates are and and everything i'm sure if you really want to train real hard enough to memorize it you'll probably want to take sh uh, the show coordinates off so that uh, you don't keep relying on them yourself so let's jump into the next training mode called moves and in this one as i said i'll be playing as white or black so you get an idea of how it looks like every time they sort of switch the pieces on my end. So let's start. Let's start. This one actually doesn't count. It's weird how they show it there, but they'll flash it right after. King to f6. King to f6. And a to n. Uh, sorry, knight to a5. B3. G5. Rook to g4. As you can see, I'm not very good at this. King to d4. Queen to a7, knight to g4, bishop to b4. Ooh, that was the other way around. And there it is. I ran out of time. So there. That's how the moves look. So every time they switch on the white or black, um, pretty simple. I believe if you put moves and completely as black, then the board actually fully flips. Let's do coordinate and moves. And this one I said, we'll be playing in the perspective of white. So. Here we go. E8, E8, E1, B to E6, H2, H2, E5, C6, C2, Bishop to B5, oh, there, D8. D8, H5, oh, H5 is there, B5, oof, there it is. So that's what it is. Those are your three different coordinate moves, uh, sorry, your three different training modes. You got coordinates, moves, and coordinate moves, and you can also pick the color that you want to play as um, within the vision tool. I hope this was all useful to all of you. If you enjoyed it, if you learned something new, please give it a like, give a follow that would uh, or a subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. And yeah, I hope this is pretty useful. If you like this tutorial, maybe check out some of my other ones. I hope you to see you all next time. Goodbye.